What's up, St. John graduating class of 2020? It's Father Jonathan, and I want to tell you guys how incredibly proud I am of you. I'm so excited for your class. Uh, it's been such a great joy for me to get to know so many of you so well. You know, we've been through a lot together. Uh, you all saw me through a big transition um, when I came here. Um, and when I was ordained, and now uh, here I am watching you all go through a very big transition as you graduate from high school and as you prepare to go on to college, to go on to careers, uh, to go on to do big and beautiful things in the world. And I know the world is a little bit of a scary place right now, and there's a lot going on that uh, makes us uncertain about what the future exactly is going to look like. But that makes me even more excited that you guys are going out into the world right now. Because we know how the story ends, right? We know that Jesus uh, is ultimately victorious. We know that in our bones. And I hope that you all know that God loves you. That God loves you thoroughly. Uh, and, and that there is nothing that can ever take that away from you. That that is a gift that he will always give to you. That he will always be with you and bestow that love upon us. Which means that even though the current moment may be a little bit uncertain, uh, it doesn't mean that, that it can ever take you out or, or take you down uh, if you understand God's love and, and if you pursue that which he, which he gives you to pursue. And because I know you guys and I know how big your hearts are, uh, I know that you're going to do great things in this world that will uh, help to usher in the kingdom of God uh, and, and to follow Christ in, in the most wonderful and the most beautiful way possible. Some of you have probably heard in, in your theology classes or, or other places the story of St. Lawrence, uh, who was a, a deacon who was martyred in the, the early church, um, and they were rounding up Christians to kill them, and uh, they demanded that he bring out the treasures, the riches of the church, right? Because they wanted, you know, the gold or whatever it is that they thought the church had so that they could uh, throw the money into the treasury. And St. Lawrence said, I will absolutely give you the treasures of the church, the riches of the church. Just give me a little bit of time. And so he went out, and a couple of days later, it was time to, to bring the, the riches of the church, or else they would kill him. That was the threat, right? He shows up with all of the poor people, and all of the, the needy, and all of those uh, who, for one reason or another, uh, couldn't defend themselves, and the weak, and, and so forth. He brings all of these people into the square, and the, the, the Roman proconsul's looking at him going, wait, wait, what, what's going on? Where, where is what you promised me? Where is the treasure of the church? And he looked at him and said, this is the treasure of the church. God loves the poor. God loves the weak. God loves the needy. And if you are serving them, you are serving him. One of my other favorite saints, St. Saint John Chrysostom, another early church father, he famously said that unless you see Christ in the beggar at the church door, you will never see him in the chalice, right? Meaning where the Eucharist is. Unless you see Christ in the beggar at the church door, you will never see him in the chalice. Heavy words, but important words for us to hear. The world is going to tell you that success looks a certain way. The world, in fact, is going to try to depress you and bring you down if you don't have success on its terms. But God has already shown you what real success is. Real success is what Jesus Christ did when he died for you on the cross. Real success is loving and serving the poor in the name of Jesus. I have absolutely every confidence in the size of your hearts, class of 2020, I have every confidence that you will be successful, that you will serve those um, whom God loves, and that in so doing, you will draw closer to him and, and know true and lasting peace. So go out there, do everything that, that, that God gives you to do, and may God's blessing and riches be upon you now and forever.